This is the whole tissue section of the ductus deferens as it sits in the spermatic cord. And what we can see is that the vas deferens or ductus deferens is a large muscular tube with a, with a relatively small lumen and it consists of three smooth muscle layers. So starting from the outside we can see this outer longitudinal layer, a middle circular layer, and an inner longitudinal layer. And the orientation of the muscle fibers of each one of these layers allows for um, distinct identification of where one layer starts and stops. So the inner or the outer longitudinal layer and the inner longitudinal layer are bo have both been cut in cross section, whereas the middle circular layer, its muscle fibers have been cut along their entire expanse, and that gives us this circular appearance, and that's why it's been named the middle circular layer. And if we look closer at the inner longitudinal layer, we can see that the muscle fibers sort of end around this region. And then we have this lighter region. So if we zoom in, we can see that the fibers sort of transition from this smooth muscle layer to this loose connective tissue. This is known as the lamina propria, which surrounds the entire uh, duct portion of the ductus deferens. And this lamina propria supports the epithelial tissue that lines the duct. So functionally, the muscle layers that surround this duct allow for rapid propulsion of the sperm that has been developing in the tail of the epididymis towards the ejaculatory duct where it's going to miss, uh, mix with secretions from the seminal vesicles. And if we look at the epithelial lining of the duct itself, it's actually been damaged. So what we're going to do is look at an alternative uh, section where we can see the special features that line the ductus deferens. In this section, we've zoomed in on the ductus deferens, and we can see that we can see a portion of the middle circular layer, the inner longitudinal layer, and the lamina propria. And we can see that the lamina propria is supporting this specialized epithelial tissue that lines the duct of the ductus deferens. And what we see is actually pseudostratified columnar epithelium, and it also has these stereocilia that project into the lumen of the duct. And on Around this basement membrane, we can see a layer of basal cells, which are essentially stem cells that are going to help rejuvenate and replenish the cells of this, uh, of this in the pseudostratified uh, layer here as they become damaged over time. So lining this duct, we have basal cells, we have pseudostratified epithelium, and they have stereocilia that project into the lumen.